runner is gonna he's going for it. again today so it looks like I will be on the trainer you know how much I love the trainer getting up early this morning I'm gonna do a real quick session on the trainer it's early okay let me get sorted Yesterday I got the trainer set up and then never actually got out on the trainer. One of the things that, I, that I've noticed that I, if, I, if I have a trainer day, I have to do it early or, or middle of the day. Can't put it off till the evening. If I do that, it's more likely I'm just gonna go, ah, oh, I'm too tired, I just wanna play and hang out with the family. Finally able to get out today for the first time all week. Ride my bike a little bit. I've been on the trainer all week. All week, like twice. <laughs> I'm such a baby about the trainer. So recovery ride today, just spinning it out. Had two workout sessions earlier this week. Check out these shaggy cows. Coming up on rescue. It's a firehouse. And there's a church back here and the post office. It is cold back here. It's about a 12 degree difference between here and El Dorado Hills. Really glad I brought my gloves. Take a look at the deer out there. There's a little porky, a does, and a buck. Super cool. I often get to see a lot of wildlife while I'm out riding. Turkeys, of course squirrels. They're just checking me out. What is this guy doing? Who's he talking to? Riding with the team to do CIM. We're doing the lead out for um, them. It's a marathon here in Folsom. We're meeting at six. So I got up a little after five to get ready and dress really warm so I've got my winter jacket on and I have some big thermal gloves on and it's like 38 degrees so it's gonna be very very cold. Chad you guys know Ted his team What's up, it's definitely cold. We're the uh, the front of the front, so we're trying to stay about 200 meters ahead of the entire race. So we're waiting a little bit. We're at the front front and there's a um, wheelchair guy, so he's in one of those, um, I forgot what you call them, that, the bikes where you pedal with the hand. Morning! Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Good morning. Doing great guys! Going through an area called Midtown in Sacramento. We've got about three miles to go. The crowds have been really friendly. Get to show you guys that. It's just been freezing, like 35, 38 degrees. It just started to warm up. 
It's about 42 degrees. It's just cold and I'm not generating a lot of body heat at 12 miles an hour. But it's been nice. So how are we doing? Freezing. Freezing. <laughs> We're new to the team and they kept sending out these emails like really bundled up, it's gonna be super cold. And they were joking. And we, we bundled up pretty well and we're still freezing. No feeling left in the fingers, that's for sure. Almost done. Top runner. The, the runner is gonna he's going for it. Out here, you're like, yeah. Another little coffee stop to warm up, and get something to eat. We're all talking about how cold we were. Still are. We're warming up. Now, that is a nice warming up. And you don't overheat. Good. Yeah, I'm not feeling good. We're on our way back after our uh, second coffee stop. Back to Folsom. Robert. Hi, Aaron. Good morning. Happy CIM. Happy CIA. All good. It is warmed out to a, bal a balmy 45 degrees. We're meandering. Eventually, I've never been there before. I gotta try this place. We're on our way back, but the group is split up. We had a little mechanical issue with uh, Ken stopping for a little break, a little nature break. Masters riders. We always need a good nature break. Many, frequent, and we're back. Four hours, almost on the button. And so that's it for this week's vlog. See you guys next week.